you got hit with a 2,000 pound steel beam. You're not caught, you're unco like, you're not unconscious, you're not cast out, you, nothing's broken, nothing is infractured, nothing. They found absolutely nothing, and the doctor's not understanding. They're like, this is a miracle. There's no way. I was mm -hmm. able to get discharged that same night. Hey, you know when you just want to dream big? <laughs> you can't let nobody hold you down, man. Don't let nobody stop you from what you're trying to achieve in life. Um, on my birthday, I almost drowned. Mm -hmm. I almost lost my life on my birthday. Mm -hmm. At eight years old, I almost drowned in the Bell Isle River. Really? Yes. I'll oh, tell you the God. story. My cousin did drown in, happened. not the Bell Isle River, but some river out here. I was oh. a genuine kid. I didn't know how to swim at the time. Yeah. Not at the time. And I'm just like, you know, I have a life jacket. And my mom's like, don't take that life jacket off of no one. I don't care what. <laughs> and I'm just like, all right, mom. I'm, look, I'm close to the shore. Mm -hmm. But Bell Isle had these, uh, these balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when it just dips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I didn't know about those. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. educated on yeah, it. No yeah. one told me about yeah, yeah. them. And I didn't know that it drops. Yeah. Where like it drops? Sinkholes. Like, like sink in the water? Like, yeah, sinkholes. Yeah. So scary. Yeah, and I, I'm like, what is those little, like, they're like volleyballs to me. You yeah, know, yeah. Like, like beach they, they, bop, they bop over now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, the, like the, 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 the protection. Right, right. yeah, the protection. Right. right. So I had a cousin. Her cousin, she was like, can I please use your life jacket? I just want to go further out with my sister and I can't swim. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going out far. I'm at the shore. The water's up to here. So I'm like, oh, I'm fine. I'll just stay right here. Here you go. She's like, oh, thank you so much. So I'm just sitting there, you know, and I see the ball. I'm like, oh, that ball looks real fun. Like, <laughs> I'm bored. You know, I'm sitting here waiting for my life jacket. I'm like, maybe I can cook that ball, right? So, you know, I'm walking over to the ball. Grab it, right? Grabbing it, grabbing it. Trying to reach my like, hey, can't get it. So I'll How old were you at this point? I was eight. I just turned eight. It was oh, wow. Birthday. He was little. Was eight. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Reach out for the ball and I just drop. I'm sitting there, like, going up and down, like, oh my God. Like, I'm yeah. just like, oh, what is going on? Like, I'm going down and I'm like, I'm yeah. not understanding what's going on. I thought I was going to die. Mm -hmm. Literally. Mm -hmm. I, thought, I thought I was going to lose my life. Mm -hmm. A guy came over. I don't know who this man is. I don't. Even, I don't yeah. remember him. I just know he came. He got me. Gave me CPR. Coughed up the water. My mom was like freaking out. And I'm like, that was the first near death experience I yeah, ever yeah, encountered yeah. since then. And I'm just like, wow. Only person could have saved me from that was, was God. Yeah. No one saw me. Yeah. My mother didn't see me. My sisters didn't see me. Mm -hmm. The only one saw me was the kid who happened to just walk up on the beach and said, I just saw her going up and down. And I wasn't sure what to do. So I just went and, you know, mm -hmm. grabbed her. And apparently she was struggling. Mm -hmm. That man saved my life to this day. I don't know who that guy was. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's, what his name is, but I know he was sent mm -hmm. God and said, save that child. Mm -hmm. That was the first incident. The second incident was another car accident my mom had. Mm -hmm. This was in 2012. Thank you very much. It was like a ice storm mm -hmm. back in like February, the beginning he of the year. He has offered this up. Oh, thank you. To you guys. Thank you. That's a blessing. Thank and, you. Um, That's um, homemade bath. I had a real bad feeling that day. Mom's like, I'm going to go out and you can get a rental for your, 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 your cousin. And she's like, yeah, um, I didn't really want to, you know, it's going to be a storm. And I'm like, mom, don't go. Mm -hmm. Something's telling me to tell you not to go. Like, I don't feel good about the situation. She was like, really? Okay, I'm going to pray about it. We can just pray about it. You know, which we did. She was like, well, I'm just going to go early and then try to get back. So I'm just like, mom, mm -hmm. it's still a no for me. And she's like, well, you know, it's his birthday. You know, mm -hmm. he doesn't have anyone else. And I'm the only one in the area. So I guess he convinces her to say, let's go down to the airport and get the rental. We're going, we're going, okay, we're almost there. We get it, right? He get everything established and then we gotta get it on. We gotta get we gotta get back. Yeah. So we're on our way back home. And I'm like, nah. I'm like, nah. Something doesn't feel right. Yeah. She's like, no, don't 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 say stuff like that. I don't think negative. I'm like, no, I'm not thinking negative. Like something in my heart is telling me it doesn't feel right. Like we need to stop. We gotta pull over. She's like, I can't just stop in the middle of the road. I'm like, sure you can. Ten, not even ten, five minutes later. Another car came, hit our car. We spin out. Mind you, it's a storm. 
there's kids in the car. My brother was three at the time. My other sister was four and I was 11, 10, 11 or something, somewhere like that. My other siblings didn't happen to be with us at the time. So it was just us three, my mother. We're spent out truck in the middle of the freeway. There's cars coming. The truck is faced the opposite way. We see cars coming, ton of Dodgers left and right. And it was like, oh my God, I'm just like, we're sitting here, she's praying. She's like, get me out of this situation. Another car slaps, hit us, boom. She rolls into the ditch. My mom's car is not moving at all. And I'm just like, mom, what are we gonna do? She has she has three kids that she needs to get off the freeway, on going. Like, mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not stopping. Mm -hmm. They're trying to curve around us. We're stuck in the middle of I-94 just sitting there. So she gets out, she's like, I gotta get you guys out of this car. She grabs us, takes us out. Literally, all this from moving <clears> traffic. And I'm over here, I'm I'm like stunned. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm like frozen, just like, oh my God. I don't know how we're gonna get out of the situation, but I have faith in the Lord that he's gonna get us out of this. She's literally getting us out. A lady happened to let us sit in her car. We're sitting in that car. My mom goes back in her car. There's ongoing traffic. I'm like, oh my God, we're fine. But I might lose my mom. Like. Scary. She's calling, it's scary. I, I don't know what to do. I, I'm 11 years old. I got a three year old and a four year old siblings, just like, oh my God, like, what is going on here? And was like, we're going to make it through. We're going to make it through. Gonna, I had so much faith. She happened um, to call one of her brothers on the phone and they told her, put your car in some like neutral, something, just push it out. She's like, it's not moving. You can't do anything about it. She was like, no. Keep starting it, keep trying, keep trying. And she's sitting there, she's like, I don't know if I could make it. Like, she's getting worried. Like, she's sitting there, I'm watching her, and I'm just like, oh. and I'm sitting here. I didn't even know how to pray at the time completely, but I I prayed. I, that's all I remember. And we got out of that situation. That was touchifying. I don't, everything else is a blur, but that was the second time for me personally. And then recently, at the age of 22 mm -hmm. oh yeah i had to turn 22 i just got me a car back in march of last year i only had it for six months and my job is like an hour away so i drive there and back every single day yeah let me add you have been saving for two years yes for this car yes two yes. years two body cash years. yes yeah Kima. and at the time you know i didn't have a like a government job i was being paid on disabled i was uh, working at a daycare for mm -hmm. from age 14 to 18 mm -hmm. straight Oops. family business working at a daycare at this time, i'm like eh, i don't think about a car right now i'm fine but i eventually said you know what i want to go ahead get a job get a real job you know finally you know make something of myself six months had the car bought it out I'm feeling good. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm 21. I got me a car. I'm straight paid off. That's good. September comes. I get into an accident, which was also very scary. I think I briefly told you about it um, earlier. Mm -hmm. um, it was around six in the morning, uh, September 16th. I was on the phone with my uh, my mom and dad. They were on two way, and I'm talking to them. We're on the phone, and I'm like, yeah, I'm on my way to work right now. I'm like, oh man, I remember like yesterday. I'm like, oh, there's so much construction. There's like four lanes turning into three. I need to get over. But tell me, realized I need to get over. We came to a complete traffic stoplight. It's red. So I'm like, ah, oh, all right. Put on my right signal. I'm just like, hey, let me over. He sees me. He's just like, okay. I merge to get over. I'm thinking the guy is going to wait for me to, you know, get over. He sees me. I have my blinker on. The light turns green. I accelerate he accelerates so we ended up you know crashing into each other so i'm just like oh man this didn't have to happen i was like dude seriously you could let me in so i'm just like all right my initiative was to get over safety mm -hmm. i didn't want to stay in the mix of traffic i'm like okay, i gotta get over so i'm like i'm trying to get over you know speeding up i'm like oh yeah it's a gas station right there we're fine he comes in and says smashing into me like road rage and i'm just like okay what's going on my first i'm like mom this guy is just ramming my car i don't know what's going on she's like what's happening what, what happened i'm like this is going to an accident i'm trying to pull over and he's hitting me repetitively like he's using his car as a weapon to try to get to stop me 
Mm -hmm. So at this point, I'm like, okay, mom, I gotta get off the phone. I need to call the cops. Like, this guy is. Yeah. He's not he's like losing he's losing his mind. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna keep driving. Like, you know, I'm going in circles. I'm, you know, I'm like, he constantly he's hitting me, hitting me, hitting me, hitting me. I'm just like, yo, what am I gonna do? I call the cops and they're they're on the phone. They're like, what what's happening? Um, just stay where you are. I'm like, I can't stop. I don't know who this guy is. I'm fearing for my life. I'm afraid if I stop, he's gonna try to he's gonna try to do something at this point. I'm young. I'm in a city that I don't really know. I'm, I see this man and I'm, you know, I'm a little afraid. So I'm like, I'm just going to keep circulating. I'm like, I'm not trying to get away from this guy. I'm trying to stay within the area. I know you can't leave, between, you know, the scene of a crime, you know, of accident. I'm like, hey, that happened. I know I'm getting in trouble for that, but I'm not going to sit there and let someone just take my life. If I can fight, I'm going to fight. And yeah. I fought yeah. until he made me crash into a um, stop, not a stop sign, but it was a, uh, it was some type of street sign, big street sign yeah. mound. It happened on 14 and Mound and Sterling Heights. Mm -hmm. You made me crash into it. The inner tires in, I can't get anywhere. I'm sitting there stuck. I'm like, oh no, this guy's gonna do something. I'm like, oh, please don't let this man try to do something. He didn't know who I was. At the time I had tents on my window. He thought I was a guy. He's like, get out of your car. You had what on you? Tent, tents. tents, like window tents. Mm -hmm. So he didn't know who was in the car my, yeah. but my tents wasn't that dark it's early in the morning you can see me in the vehicle but i, I don't know what's going on with him personally but he's out he's like trying to open my door i'm like <laughs> like i'm not opening my door i can't I, I cannot let this happen i waited and just sat there until the police got there in order to open my door he's like he's in there he's in there i'm like Cops come. he looks he's like the, like, the fear on his face. He was like, oh my God, she's a little girl. He was like, please tell me you're not a little girl. I'm like, no, I'm an adult. I'm, I'm, tw I'm you know, I'm 22. He was like, I thought you were a kid. He's like, I felt so bad. I'm thinking you're a guy. You're, you're being a jerk, trying to get a, you know, hit and run on me. He was like, I had no idea that you were in there. And he didn't know what to do. He just felt so Bad. and I'm just looking at him like here's my car it's total like he didn't have to overreact like that and I'm sitting here like the cops saying oh you're gonna get in trouble for this 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 and this this and that and I'm like but he's the one who road raged on me he's telling them that he was like oh that's my fault I triggered her I you know I was the initiative of this whole you know this whole scene and they're like they're not believing it also I'm not saying I'm not trying to bring up a race thing but they're being very prejudiced you know they see young black girl they're like huh yeah she knew what she was doing yeah she's in the wrong sir you can walk away they let him drive away i sat there the whole time they're, i don't even know if i was going to get into custody they're like yeah you're, you know you can get in trouble for this and that i'm like how i fear for my life you guys were on the phone the entire time literally you were on the phone with 911 yes they heard everything and yet i'm at fault at the time they made it seem like i was at fault for the whole thing I go to court, I'm like, Lord, please like, get me through this. Like, I am, I have a genuine heart. Like, I'm not here to start problems. Like, I'm not that person. That's not in my personality. Right. And he knows that. So I got all, I, I get all these charges in the mail. I'm like, oh my God, that's a fine. That's a fine. This is a misdemeanor. They're like, oh my God, what's going on? I'm like, I don't want my record messed up. I never had a ticket, nothing. Nothing that has anything to do with the law was not a part of me. And I'm like, wow. All of this just smacked on me because of a little tiny accident. Months go by, the court date comes up, that gets rescheduled. It was supposed to be in person, but then it ended up happening on Zoom. Got rescheduled again, not on me. The judge said, oh yeah, we're going to end up doing it in person anyway. So I get a lawyer, and I think I had four tickets total. She ended up getting two dismissed. I go to the court date, we didn't have the same... Uh, we, were, we weren't in the same room at the time, but he's like, it says here you have a misdemeanor for reckless driving and failure to render an aid and failure to this and that. And I'm like, yeah, I do. And I fought it. I didn't, I'm like, I know they told me I was at fault. The cop didn't show up. They were waiting on him to show up. He didn't show up. So they threw out that for the reckless driving one. They were like, okay, we can reduce it to careless driving. 
And then I was like, no, could you please just give me something else? Like, I've never had a ticket at the time. I was trying to go into the service at the time before they mandated uh, the vaccine. And I was like, yeah, I'm trying to go into the Air Force. This is not my plan. Like, this is going to mess up everything for me. I didn't want anything on my record. And he was like, really? And I was like, yes, if you can spare me, give me anything besides a ticket or something on my record. He was like, you know what? Been that you're a good kid. You've always had a good a good record clean until this this moment. You just got your car. You haven't even had a year yet. He's like, I will give you the opportunity to take a four hour class. Get the points off your license. If you pass, everything will get this. And I was like, I'll take it. I'll take it. And he was like, only thing you have to do today is pay a $300 fine for a ticket. Take the class. Everything will be reduced and dismissed. And I was like, amen. You know, that was the last encounter I had with that. And then this is what, not even, I will say, what, four or five months later? I get into an accident at the same job that I was currently working at. I got hit with the eight pound, like eight foot, no, 12 foot. Steel beam. Steel, 2,000 beam. pound steel beam. Swung down and hit it. Swung down and hit me. I kid you not. As that was happening, I literally felt like something came over me and shoot me. Mm. I'm 120 pounds. That mm. is 2,000 pounds, eight feet high, 12 feet long, hit mm. me. There's no way. Yeah. And you know Jasmine, right? Jasmine yes. Skates? Light yes. skin from uh, Connecticut. Uh, oh, no, they probably don't. No, she, no, she, no, she no, knows her. You sure? Oh, might. You may have seen her. Um, You go to Flint, oh, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, she goes. Yeah, she definitely. Uh, yeah, she's definitely have seen her. This is hot. Familiar face. Yeah. Let me see. Trump, so. No, no, oh, no, really? no, no, no. Yeah, we're okay. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, but she called me and then she she called Jasmine and Jasmine called me and then we literally, called Jasmine, you know? literally so, that that same day and I'm just like, what is going on? I yeah. called my mom. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't call my my coworker was calling my mom. She's like, yeah, my mom's freaking out. She's crying. She thinks I'm dead and it swung and it missed my head about this much. Yes, I'm five two. Right. It slipped out their negligence, and I'm just like, I'm yeah. checking. I'm like, I'm bleeding. What's going on? I'm in shock because you know when you first get hit yeah, for something, yeah. you're in shock. So I'm like, oh, I stand. I'm like, I'm okay. It's like jumping out of a car accident. The adrenaline drops. Have... Mm -hmm. What five minutes later, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm, I'm good. No, I'm not. And I instantly and just like fell. Out. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not okay. I'm shivering like it, it it feels like everything is just like messed up yeah i go to the er to the cat scans mris are like kid we didn't find anything wrong with you you got hit with a two thousand pound steel beam you're not caught you on like you're not unconscious you're not cast out you, nothing's broken nothing's in fractured nothing they found absolutely nothing and the doctor's not understanding they're like this is a miracle there's no way I was mm -hmm. able to get discharged that same night. And I'm sitting here like, if that wasn't Jesus, I don't know. Mm -hmm. She just had to deal with that pain afterwards for like yes, three, three weeks. That yeah. pain was, I told her it was going to be like about three weeks before. It was hard. It was so, hard. And I was trying to go back so to work so after cool. that. It's like, the like, mm -hmm. like, no, you need more time. He was like, you need way more time um, than that. They said, you need much. So, yeah. Card. And I'm just like, you think so, Derek? I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking about going to work. I'll be fine. He told me it'll, it'll just take two weeks and, you know, I'll be okay. And he was like, no, you 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 shouldn't go back in two weeks. You need to take two months off, three, maybe the rest of the year if it takes. I'm like, Derek, I can need a job. <laughs> I can't just walk away from it like this. It's like. You gotta recover, yo. Your, no. your body, like even right now, she's still recovering. Like her body. Yes, I'm still recovering. Yeah, yeah, and so. I, I was, I took his word. I'm like, mm -mm. he's right. I'm afraid mm -hmm. about it. I have faith. Mm -hmm. I have not returned back to work since. Yeah, you gotta. She gotta wait. I wait. It's like this. Like waited. even with her job, like we was like talking about like a lawsuit. And the crazy thing is, her yeah. body's recovered. So like, she, you can't. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, you have to show that there's a lot. And yeah, and there, there, injury. There, there, there's no injury. And there's nothing. There's nothing. So it's kind of like. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah. It's, it's, I've seen it's very interesting. I've went. You know, it's, 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 it's a ton of blood work done and nothing. So everything just was kind of bruised. Yes. Just bruised. That's it. Yes, I still have the pictures. So 
Yeah. But yeah, so so that was traumatic for me, and I'm just like, how? Like, why does this keep happening to me? So I, I finally said, Oh God! And he's just like, he even told me he was like, I think that's the Lord reaching out to you. Yeah. He that's wants you to do a job, different. and you're here to do something, and that's not mine. you need to figure yeah, out what it actually, is. Twenty six dollars. Twenty six dollars. No, because this is twenty one seventy two. Who's this? Is that oh, yours? Not, that's not me. Oh, I'm sorry. This is for the Libya. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this is yours. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I've been through a lot of things. Yeah. And if that wasn't something that helped you, like, push your faith more into the lord that was one of them yeah you know so i'm like yeah it's no joke i need to take it more serious than what i have been not saying that i wasn't serious before but i wasn't as serious as i am becoming now yeah so i'm like yeah something i'm here to do god's putting it on my heart he set me down twice and i'm like there's a reason why he's sitting me down i was just going you know, yeah. I'm working, going, just focusing on myself. Not saying that that's a bad thing, but I was missing out on stuff that was more important, like family, mm -hmm. fixing issues that are just being prolonged. And I'm like, wow, by me being sat down, I'm able to realize things that I was neglecting. Mm -hmm. I'm building a better relationship with my mother, my father, my sisters, my brothers. And I'm like, I didn't know by me just constantly working on a go all the time, I'm missing out on all this stuff. You know, and I'm just going there like, yeah, you're neglecting this and neglecting that. And I'm not thinking it's a problem because I'm like, oh, I'm doing a good thing. I didn't realize that I needed a lot of self-work. And I realized that even by talking to him, I've overcame a lot. I had a huge burden on me. I had weight dragging on me for years. And I've finally been able to release half of that mm -hmm. with the help of Derek. Mm -hmm. So I give that to him. And he, you know, he calls me all the time. We talk, we read scripture like i've never done that before <laughs> so mm -hmm. i'm just like oh yeah anything else that god has to come and he sent in my way i'm I'm taking it i'm going for it and i'm going to accept it i'm not going to run from it i'm not going to doubt it i'm like yeah no this is god i'm going for it i'm trusting in him so he it's still my testimony is still going i feel like no, so yeah. it's not over <laughs> it's not over oh, at all it's yeah. always evolving yeah and i'm destined to find out you know what that will be at the end yeah, big gremlin, about to get my glue on Choppers too long, big luggage, no U-Haul Touched a few souls, got them living like Duval Angels stand too tall, mental thoughts loot all BLM, who they be, gang banging, ALM Who we be, God slanging, big stepper Big foot, black pepper, James 4-7, big storm, my weather